sounds great. Uh, I guess there's always a problem of getting the in-place glass, if you think that's appropriate at this point. Uh, word along those lines, though, is we'd like to have you go over moving in 11 minutes, so it's probably not appropriate at this time on that. Okay, there isn't any glass in this. This okay. trailer, you can feel your TV. It's just bigger. It's bigger than uh, the average crater. And it still has that pit, the pit being about a third of the diameter of the, the inner diameter of the crater. Third of the rim, make it a fourth of the rim di diameter, that's easier. Copy that. Jack, can I, look, can I look at that closely? Look at what? Hold the rake a second. We gotta be moving in how many minutes, Bob? We'd like to have you moving in one zero minutes, which means uh, allow about, uh, you know, the usual three or four yeah, or five minutes to close up before that time. Okay, we'll get hustling. Okay, Bob, that, that light-colored inclusion we sample looks like a, a strange... Uh, gotcha. It's the old boulder rolling trick. How about getting a soil sample under there? Don't hit the rover. Get that, get that sample under there, Jack. Under yep. that rock. Okay. Got a bag? Got a bag. The soil from right underneath the rock. Down to uh, about four centimeters and 505. Experiments flight. Go ahead. We and still need one more rake sample. Is that right? it here a little too. Get the upper. We only got one. Yes, we need a rake at the rear. Okay. A rake in the water. Bob, this at big white class, I'm not sure there aren't some smaller ones than some of those other big boulders. That's just an intuitive guess. Oh, there are. But we never saw any as, as uh, obviously big and gross as this one. In fact, is this particular boulder I photographed, I had uh, okay. three of them other than the one we sampled. And that's uh, 505 and 506 in that order. Okay, we copy that. On the so and by now, probably the best thing for you guys to do is to come back to the rover and pick up the rake sample. Go ahead, Jack. That, uh, I get it. Okay. That rock, that class, white class, I looked at it, and it has a uh, light pastel green, uh, fairly rounded crystals in a fine grain, uh, white to light, pinky tan matrix. And you can figure that one out. Looks like olivine in something. Uh, but, right there uh, on that, sounds like a rainbow. It might be a, no, it's not those, the colors aren't that distinct, Bob. I'm just giving you shades. Okay, Roger. Hey, Bob, have you been uh, down in an Anson and seen this rock that's uh, all 30 or 40 meters from us? It gives you an idea of the kind of upslope filleting you have uh, on some of those boulders. Okay, you we'll, can to your right. we'll send that over there to look at it. Encourage you copy that. Yeah, I'll help them. I don't think you got enough time. Okay, we'd like you guys to get going on the right sample, light mantle on the right there. Take control of the camera and point it at it. Point it at Okay. Cap count of three points. I'm going to have to move out here. Oh, wait, Jim. Okay. Coming right there. Right there is what I'm looking at. Okay, we're going to check it out. Thank you. And there's no sense trying to get 500 up well. We'll see what happens. Okay, as also we're running out, there's no time to get 500 either, unfortunately. I, and we're planning on station four, which will be a better perspective distance anyway. Yeah, I was going to say there's no sense of trying to get them up to Massive. Right. I don't think you'll see anything up there. Okay. Gene, uh, you getting your pan? Yeah, I said, where do you want it? Well, right in there where there's some fragments. You get the, uh, I'll get the before and the locator, okay, and then I'll get the down. Uh, 
an experiment, Capcom. What are we going to do about the SEP? Well, we want to get a reading there, and uh, if it's above 105, we're, uh, we're we're getting some concurrence on this first, but yet, yeah, but uh, we're thinking that if it's above 105, we turn the receiver and DSCA on and run it. Okay. Uh, the thermostat sw shuts it off and uh, put the covers down. Close the covers. Right, right. Big but uh, yep. uh, we are, we're Let getting to the Let me tell you, you just got to think of an order of magnitude bigger yeah, than what you're normally accustomed to thinking. Okay, pan's complete. Okay, let's get the red sample so we can move on. Science, you guys are committed to uh, get that grab reading there, even though it's going to mean about five. Bob, I couldn't get those right. five hundreds anyway. It'd require me to, to uh, pitch up too uh, far. There's no way I could do it. Yeah, I'm okay. okay. No, uh, we're definitely okay. not in favor of that. Yeah, we're uh, also interested. Uh, this, uh, things shouldn't be heating up. But but they're I'm having a hard time explaining. I know. I'm just blowing it over, but there really isn't any way I could get them. Okay. And see if there's any obvious uh, well, tear or heat leaks. How your hands? Let me read that a little bit. Well, it's all right. It's not any rocks. Should have brought the scoop and used the old shovel trick. There's a couple. Keep going. They sure are, are they? Okay, do you have any Go. feeling you have that hard layer underneath there like you did yesterday when you raked the station one, Jack? One under the gnomon you can get. Several I thought were rock turned out to be clods. Yeah, that's what most of them are, is clods. How do you get clods if it's never been wet? Yeah, you're not getting any. You've had three in there ever since the last okay. four scoops. Yeah, oh. there just aren't many. 507. Okay, copy 507, very few. Three rocks. Yeah, uh, you got about four rocks. Just get the soil uh, to get the rest if they can't get me. Okay, I think and, uh, clear. We have to down just get the soil and press on. Okay, let's just get the soil and press on. We'd like to move in within three minutes. Three minutes. Okay, you got it? Full bag up like that. Yep. Okay, let me put this in your bag and we'll get... Hey, forget the soil. Forget the soil? We want this moving in three minutes. So let's go. No, he said get the soil, not forget. Well, no, get the soil, guys. Get they the soil. They don't have a comparison Don't, for, don't the forget the soil. Get the soil. Yeah, we want it. I'm sorry, I thought you said skip it. Got your bag? Yep. Maybe a little messy. That's all right. One Scoop Schmidt, they call me. That's good. That's bad, 508. Copy that. You have to start putting some of these samples in my bag. You're getting a full bag for Christmas here. Is this so full we ought to change it? Yep. Let's do that after we get to the next station now. Well, uh, okay. Well, we ought to start moving out of here. Yep, let's go. Let me get one after of the area that we messed up. Experiments flight. Beautiful station, guys. An answer yeah, on that SCP. Beautiful. Almost deserves a thousand code. Okay. Man, I tell you, <laughs> Falcon 109. I couldn't help that, Bob. It's just too beautiful. Okay, they're, they're going back to rover. Let's do it that exactly. way. Exactly. Look where if you we kicked up the stuff. There's some light. The light. Uh, well, I can't see it. I'm looking degrees, at it. Uh, Casey, there's it's a light that colored fragment I think we break into. Yeah, we can see yeah. the There's a light colored clod. Okay, the and when I was uh, walking right. uphill, right. I really wasn't thinking it up here. I probably wanted to get to it. Why don't you, can you want to take this bag off of me? Yes, sir. I'll get one out. Well, we can use this one. Go ahead. Yeah, because we want to get one. I understand what you're just saying. We're going to run a set regardless. So okay, turn it uh, 17. Okay. Yeah, of it's things. a problem. Yeah. While well, you're getting it done there. And if it's below, you're going to keep in the close out. Uh, That's right. Change those if, bags. If it's it also below, do it's, get the, uh, it means it's cooling down. We'll try to you might read it cool the temperature it. when you turn it on. And uh, other than that, uh, stow in the TV and uh, low gain antenna, and you're on your way. We've taken care of the gravimeter already. 105 is what it read at the beginning of the stop, right? Okay. What did it, did that reading change much, Bob? Which one? Make sure that's locked on there. 
Yeah, it is locked. Make sure the cap's locked. Okay, bag eight is on the gate, and Jack's getting bag four. Okay, copy that. Copy that. Okay, for right. I know my camera's going to be full. Keep copy on the, uh, set we're not, the receiver we turn on in temperature. <laughs> Sorry to reverse you this late, but we'll right. just, uh, whatever the temperature yeah, is, we'll cover it up. And not yeah. use it? Hey, we got that, right. Bob. Not use it? We're not going to use it. Okay. That's right. Okay. Okay, okay uh, 17, take all that back. We just had a change of heart back here. And we're not going to turn the step on, just cover it up, and you might give us a temperature reading as you go by, though. That'll help us think what to do with it. About 98. Copy, 98, then leaving both Roger. off. That's good. Okay. Uh, 17, uh, John and Charlie are kind of advising you to put that SC, that full SCP underneath the seat to keep make sure the top doesn't bounce open and lose some of those rocks. Well, you can't take better advice than for That's those right, who have been here. Roger That's on that. It. Your advice has been pretty good so far. I won't pass that on to them, I think, Dave. Why, EVA? Good. Okay, it's going to be a tight fit. There's already one uh, SCB under the LMP seat. You might possibly put it in the CDR seat. Is he's it locked not under there? Up, Jack. Uh, he's got some mags under there and the 500 millimeter camera. Uh, I can't unlock that six one. Now. Half a dozen the other. Can lock that one? <laughs> They're all getting sticky. That one just didn't not work you. anymore. Okay. Let me see. Okay, I've been told that both of you. It isn't moving either way. Any problem under the LMPC? Okay, good. This one, I, this one was sticky too. Let me see. Out's open, right? Huh? Out, out is open. Out is open, yeah. Yeah, let me try once more if I have to. There, I got it. Okay, those they're really getting dusty. Experiment I'll do those flight. with the dust brush next time around. Experiments, fight. Charge that time up to John and Charlie.
Okay, I'm going to start uh, sampling the soils, right, and then I'll get you the fragments. Okay, yeah, I presume uh, that uh, I we'll at least have any, a single uh, upper core, which we can use here, to we'll sample that to stuff from the, the soil. Um, and, uh, rem so you get the sep covers open. Okay. All right. There's no guarantee. This is a crater rim. Okay. And, uh, Gene, are you still near the, the rover? Yeah, I am. Okay, we'd like to get the uh, SEP blankets open, Gene, uh, and dust it if they're dirty, so that can cool some more. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay. Now, I can't give you a gravimeter reading while I'm working on the rover, so I have to time it when I get away from it. Okay. Uh, Roger on that. I think you'll be pounding on the hammer for a long while while you can take the rover to gravimeter reading. Fly DVA. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. I question well, we'll the see. of uh, let taking me, the gravimeter reading while he's back. pounding very close to the rover with that drive core. Okay, uh, uh, bag. Uh, 520 uh, five has a skim sample yeah. check. of the upper uh, light gray soil. I don't know where I'm going to put these in. I'm going to come down and get a bag. We're not concerned with that. Okay. Have you punched the group? No. No, uh, I can't punch it until I get yeah. out of here. Yeah. These switches are off at standby, right? There should be. Okay, that's where they are. And the temperature is 100 and... Uh, uh, should be off. Isn't it off? No, it was standby. No, push it off. Okay. No, it doesn't matter off. when it's in standby. It won't be heating They're both off. It's anyway. I'll put it off. Okay. It might have gotten hit when I changed the blanket. <laughs> so I got to go intermediate cooling here. with a cold. Nice to know those pussies got charged okay last night. Okay, yeah, seven to the pussies look great. How's Ron doing? They're both looking, uh, stand by. I thought you said both mine. <laughs> Ron's doing great, too. He's sitting here busily. No, no. Go ahead. And I'm, I'm in Captain America. Yeah, I'm just inquiring of Bob. I think he's doing great. He just passed a little bit north of you a couple minutes ago and took some pictures of you. Flight experiments. Go ahead. That gyro checked out okay. Okay, I do no my work around the OMP seat here. That's locked. That must be unlocked. Okay, unlock. Brake is off. Copy that. Copy flight. 
And five uh, two one is the sample bag. Copy that. Well, the first quarter's gone down pretty good, uh, Bob. Okay, great. Oh, you're like a, you won't have any problem in here, Corey. Oh, man, I tell you, I wish I was putting a drill hole in here. That's pretty nice. Uh, flight science. Okay, Bob. The next sample is uh, uh, mostly sir. the medium gray. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, uh, the jack uh, fraction of the marble the and the, uh, and the document fake, samples well. and the gravimeter, everything that uh, while uh, while Gene is getting the rest of that, so we can leave it to a minimum amount of time. Okay, the pan documented samples, and uh, while Gene's getting the CSVC. Yeah, in other words, just to cut down the time to a minimum because we don't have a real departure time here. That's all we want to get, then we want to be on our way. Okay. Let's we'll say that again, fine. Let's say want, want either one in. We want to get away as soon as we can. Yeah. And so what's beyond, okay, what, so what's the new information? The new information is to be sure that uh, That's Jack in bag five two two two. samples in a pan and a gravimeter in parallel, not just taking documented samples. Okay. Copy that, Jack. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it, Bob. Okay. And Jack, when you get done with this trench, uh, you might uh, hit one or two of those blocks there, but then we'd, uh, since we're really trying to cut the station down to a minimum, after that you'd probably get better get to the pan. Bob, what do you think? Can I read a gravimeter? Uh, yep, if it's the not flashing, it, the light's out. Yep, it should be just done. Six seven zero zero four nine seven zero one. Six seven zero zero four nine seven zero one. Okay, I'll copy that. Okay. Uh, you guys hunt the uh, the, uh, the white marble in the uh, the white what, fraction in the ready? marble zone yeah. in five two three. Copy that. So. Okay. Oh. Copy that. Bob, I forgot to give you the core numbers, but I will. Okay. And don't forget to put your little note in the long can there. Oh, I'll get the note in there. I'll get it in there. Nobody will ever know. Bob, uh, 524 is what I think is a blue-gray rock. Probably the breccia. It's got a little dust covered. Copy that. From just off the rim of this little crater. Okay, copy that. It's a blue-gray rock. It's not part of the trench, right? You're finished with the trench? Yes. If you see it, Bob, it's full. See that? Roger, we see a long thing in your hand there, Gene. Flight EVA. Go ahead, EVA. It's a mute point now if he didn't, but uh, we didn't copy well, the CDR. Got I didn't think that was supposed to happen. Seven foot stereos of that double core. Now, I know. You mean before he drove it? Yeah. Jack, 
chute. Thought I had him on the rover. What? Oh, that core cap covers. I'll, I'll get him. No, you got some there in that little ca in that little uh, pocket. Yeah, but there's so many bags in here, I can't get in them. No, I mean the uh, pocket on the rover, on the bag. Remember? No, they're not. I took them out and put them on you. Oh, okay. And the rest of them are in this bag. I'll come and get them. See, the other, there's others, but I don't want to get into your seat. We got those bags tight, packed in there like gangbusters. How are you doing there by yourself? Well, it's hard. Your hook came off. If you wait a minute, I'll hook it on this bag. See? See? I never, I didn't think your, their sample bags could come off the camera. But they can. Well, don't call it. What's the problem? Just we'll fix this bag now. Let me get this bag. Let's put it off at the bottom if I don't. He's going to come off again. I don't think the harness is tight enough now. Or tighten the harness. Yeah, I, I'm, I got to, Jack. Okay. Let me get your harness. I might just won't do it. So it's right. It's worth doing it all. It's worth doing right. Now, let me try to get that bag back on. No, no, don't bend over it. I can't get down there. Okay. You're plenty short enough. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> This bag now, that, that hook, there's something changed in the geometry. Okay, don't worry about you it too much, to, guys. I'm sure the bag will stay on without the hook. hook. Yeah, well, I, conclusion I just came to. You through? Yeah, go ahead. Slight experiment. Go ahead. Okay, I'm going to give you some, uh, some times here which are constraints. Uh, the, uh, and I'm going to give you a series of numbers here if you got time. Constraints on what? That's, well, it's time to leave this based on the walk back constraints. Okay. Uh, Go ahead. The time that we will have to leave stop four will be five plus two, two on the walk back line. If, and we're backing up, we're going to spend 30 minutes there. That means the latest time that we can arrive at four is five plus, four plus five, two. Four plus five, two. Okay, then backing up from that with 18 minutes of travel uh, to 4 plus 5, 2 from, uh, to, yeah. Okay, Bob, uh, we have to leave here well, the, the latest time in, uh, at 4 plus 3, 4. Bag uh, and still five, spend two, 3 five. minutes at uh, stop no, four that. before we have to leave because of walk back. Okay. Okay, and uh, we'll work in the time up, here. Uh, when we really want to leave, we might want to leave before that. Go ahead, Gene. Yeah, that's them. That's them. You read my mind. Yeah, that's them. 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 Yeah, and uh, I, the bottom core is full. The top core about, uh, oh, I got to look. It's dark down there, but about an inch, inch and a half of the, uh, of the core, just, just uh, zero G to one six G itself right off. Okay, we copy that. Uh, I guess we still just cover it and see what we got. Might just, again, try compacting it after that's through. After you're done with the uh, lower core. Yeah, I'll do that. And flight science, we like the uh, core two numbers. Roger. Tell me, flight. Go ahead, flight. He's still looking and at it. Five, five, two, six. Stand by. Five, yeah. two, six. Okay, in a, in a long can. Yeah, we're I'll give it to you. Wait a minute. And that may have been a... Uh, 